Welcome to Ontario, a land rich in its diversity of people and its natural resources. One of the most important natural resources is aggregate, or stone, sand and gravel, because without aggregate, nothing gets built. It's in the buildings where we live and work, the roads and sidewalks we drive and walk on, it's used in water purification systems, and it's the main component in concrete, brick, asphalt and glass. We all use aggregate every day, but we don't stop to think about where it comes from and how it affects the economy and the environment in which we live. And in Ontario, we're fortunate because we have an abundant supply. Yet despite this abundance, the aggregate industry is in crisis. New pits and quarries are not being licensed quickly enough, and the industry's future rests on forging strong, collaborative relationships with municipalities, the province, and with Indigenous communities. From time immemorial, this land we know as Ontario was cared for by Indigenous peoples. Since that time, Ontario has grown within these lands and is now composed of 444 municipalities and 133 First Nations along with the Métis peoples. Today, stone, sand and gravel continues to be the foundation of every community. Section 35 of the Constitution Act of 1982 specifically recognizes and affirms the existing Aboriginal and treaty rights of the Aboriginal peoples of Canada. The aggregate industry understands that to move forward, our relationships with Indigenous communities must be a priority. Indigenous communities provide a link to the past and need to be included in sustainable resource management. We know that Ontario's municipalities and Indigenous communities are the lifeblood of our province, driving essential services, infrastructure and economic development that keeps our society vibrant and thriving. At the heart of every infrastructure project, from roads and hospitals to community centres, are the indispensable building materials, stone, sand and gravel. As Ontario's population is projected to surge by 6.6 .6 million people by 2046, so will the demand for these materials. An estimated 4 billion tonnes of aggregate will be needed to support this growth. Just think about what aggregate builds across Ontario today. 4,900 schools shaping future generations. 20 universities and 24 colleges fueling innovation. 6,500 places of worship fostering community. 460 hospitals delivering critical care. 900 hockey rinks and 1,400 recreation centers promoting health and wellness. 191,000 kilometers of roads connecting people and places. 5,000 kilometers of railway tracks supporting industry and moving people. 450 wastewater treatment plants ensuring sustainability, 135 hydroelectric stations, and 2,600 wind turbines powering our legacy. Not to mention the province's commitment to building 1.5 million new homes in Ontario, along with all the required infrastructure to service those new homes. That means even more schools, more roads, better transit and train systems, and more healthcare facilities. When you add it all up, Ontarians use an average of one 14-ton truckload of aggregate for every person per year. That's the equivalent of the weight of about 28 adult moose. These strategic building materials come from local pits and quarries, operated by your neighbours, by farmers, by small business owners. Many aggregate companies are proudly family-owned, with generations of expertise. Aggregate producers are dedicated to building strong community ties by actively engaging with local groups, participating in events, and donating to initiatives like new trails and community centres, building town halls and places of worship. And in times of emergency, we're there ready to respond and support those affected by natural disasters. What most Ontarians don't know is that we are the only industry that pays a levy to drive on Ontario roads. Over the last three decades, the industry has paid close to $700 million to the municipal and provincial governments to help fund road repair because of the heavy nature of the loads our trucks carry. No other industry pays this type of levy, including other heavy materials such as lumber and steel. But the aggregate industry is not just about extracting and shipping construction materials. It's about sustainability and resilience. We know we must be good stewards of the land. We're committed to upholding the highest environmental standards, 
ensuring our operations are friendly to our neighbours and the ecosystems we share. In our fight against climate change, we are leading the charge to lower greenhouse gas emissions. By licensing reserves close to markets and reducing travel distance, we drastically cut our carbon footprint. If every truck could drive just one less kilometre from the pit or quarry to the job site, there would be a savings of 7,000 tonnes of GHG per year. That's the equivalent of taking 1,600 cars off the road annually. That's why licensing pits and quarries close to where the material is needed is so important. Ontario's aggregate industry stands out as one of the most highly regulated, with 25 pieces of legislation and hundreds of regulations ensuring our commitment to excellence. To stay competitive and attract investment, it's vital our regulatory landscape remains balanced. And when resource extraction is complete, we don't just leave. We develop rehabilitation plans in consultation with our partners to transform pits and quarries into vibrant green spaces, thriving farms, recreational facilities, new neighborhoods, wetlands and ponds, enriching communities for generations to come. In fact, over the last 25 years, we have rehabilitated over 17,000 hectares. That's greater than the size of Windsor. Aggregate exists where nature placed it and we will harness it by creating powerful partnerships. In recent years, the aggregate industry has been working hard to form meaningful relationships and negotiate agreements with Indigenous communities. This work must continue. The Indigenous community's traditional relationship with the land can further enhance our partnerships in the ongoing development of the circular economy. This collaboration forges a legacy of respect and innovation, creating a brighter and more resilient future for all. We are working with the province and municipalities to underscore the importance of close-to-market aggregate and that without the approval of new pits and quarries, Ontario's economic and environmental future is in jeopardy. The aggregate industry is committed to working together with all of our partners to build the Ontario of the future, one project at a time, where every project starts with stone, sand and gravel.